What would happen after 14 days, two weeks, if you took a cold shower every single day? That's what we're going to talk about. We're going to do a deep dive into this topic. Now, you may have heard of this guy called the Iceman. He's wrote a book. He's done YouTube videos. He developed the Wim Hof Method using things like ice baths, cold showers to improve your health. I'm going to talk about some of the benefits and the research revolving around using cryotherapy or cold therapy. Now, before you click off and say, there is no way in heck I'm going to ever take a cold shower, just hear me out because there are some seriously positive benefits from doing this. And you can do it very, very gradually so it's not very uncomfortable. Okay? No, I'm, I'm serious. All right. Now, you would think that going out in the cold when it's rainy and it's cold, you would you'd get sick. That's because your parents told you to stay out of that rain. It's cold out there. You're going to get a cold. Just stay inside where it's nice and warm. Well, it just so happens that when you expose your body to the cold, and I'm not talking long term, just a short term, your immune system becomes enhanced. You get more monocytes and lymphocytes. These are white blood cells that fight off pathogens. You have a boost of T helper cells. The T helper cell is like the quarterback of the entire immune system. Okay. You also get a spike of T suppressor cells that help to calm down an overactive immune system. So they prevent too much destruction of the immune system. So it's kind of a system where your immune system is fighting things off, yet you have other factors that are making sure there's not too much collateral damage. So your immune system is enhanced when you expose it to cold, which is very, very um, counterintuitive. Number two, you get a spike of noradrenaline. Noradrenaline is similar to adrenaline, and when they tested people that have anxiety, attention deficit disorder, depression, they usually have low noradrenaline. So by using this amazing method of exposing yourself to cold, you can spike noradrenaline and improve your overall mood. So if you're depressed, you can pull yourself out of that lower emotion. If you have anxiety, excessive worry, things like that, you, it can elevate your emotion. It can help your cognitive function your focus, your memory, you could become more alert. So apparently our bodies have evolved over eons to adapt to things like cold, hunger, starvation. So our bodies through this process have developed certain type of adaptive survival mechanisms to improve our health, to survive better when exposed to cold and hunger and things like that. It's called the hormetic effect. And a hormetic effect is when you expose someone to a stress and then the body adapts and becomes stronger. Like exercise would give you a hormetic effect. Fasting would give you a hormetic effect. Taking a cold shower would definitely do it. All right, the next thing is that taking a cold shower is going to help you lose weight. How? Well, when you take a cold shower, you're going to trigger brown fat. Another term for brown fat is brown adipose tissue. So the sensation of cold is the main stimulus to stimulating brown fat. So the more cold, the more brown fat that you have. Now, what's so significant about this brown fat versus the white fat or white adipose tissue? Well, brown fat increases heat, energy, and metabolism. Your metabolism is going to be raised when you have more brown fat, you're going to lose more weight. And brown fat will also trigger more loss of white fat, which is the storage fat that you have in your body. Okay. So that, that's pretty cool. In fact, 100 grams of brown fat can burn 3,400 calories per day. That's more calories than you potentially could eat in a given day. So we want more brown fat on our body. Another reason why it can help you lose weight. It can create an increase in insulin sensitivity. Okay. If you've been watching my videos, the more you improve insulin sensitivity, the less insulin that's going to be produced because it's going to work now and there's going to be less resistance to insulin and the more weight loss you're going to have, the better the blood sugars you're going to have. So if you have diabetes, you're pre-diabetes and you take a cold shower, you're going to notice that your blood sugars actually come into check much better. And when that happens, you're going to lose weight. Number five, 
Cold showers help with inflammation. They are anti-inflammatory. So if you have inflammation in your body, if you have some type of autoimmune disease, if you have arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, taking a cold shower would be a very therapeutic thing. Number six, cold showers can increase your overall antioxidant networks, okay? More antioxidants, the less DNA damage, the less risk of getting cancer and other diseases. Number seven, neural protection, okay? Cold showers help your brain. And so apparently cold activates the regrowing of neurons, okay? So that's pretty cool. And also as a side note, when you're cold, you have a much better sleep. Now, this is within reason, okay? I mean, I'm not talking about freezing. I'm just talking about having the temperature a little bit cooler. You will sleep a little bit better. So another benefit I forgot to add on to this is sleep. All right, number eight, longevity. Why? Because cold showers stimulate autophagy, just like fasting stimulates autophagy. Autophagy is a condition that your body gets into where it's recycling old damaged proteins, okay? So if there's certain things that aren't working in the body, like their proteins or enzymes or their mitochondria or their they're placking in the brain, as in amyloid placking or whatever. Your body's going to recycle all that and turn that into brand new proteins. The other cool thing about taking a cold shower is that it will help lower cortisol. That means it's going to reduce your stress. Okay. Also, it's going to create better recovery. So if you're an athlete, okay, and you're sore and you need faster recovery, cold therapy is the way to go. I remember long ago when my wife and I went to the Dominican Republic and uh, I remember we walked uh, off the beaten path and found this little oasis, this little um, like building and they had all these different uh, little baths and they were like, they looked like little jacuzzis, but some were really, really cold and some were really, really hot. They had like uh, freezing, lukewarm, hot, really hot and so on. And that was a really um, interesting introduction to cold therapy because at first it didn't make sense to me. Why would anyone want to jump into some cold bath, right? But we both tried it out and it was freezing. But then of course we went into the warmer bath and the, the hot jacuzzi. And I remember feeling really incredible after doing that. My body was just like, uh, feeling amazing and I slept great. And then I kind of forgot about it for some years. Now, coming full circle, here I am talking about exposing yourself to cold. So anyway, here's the 10 benefits of cold showers. And think about it. If you can experience these benefits from just a cold shower, I mean, you're already probably taking a shower every day. All you have to do is turn it to the cold for a little bit and then turn it back to the hot. And I'm going to show you now what I would recommend. I would do this. When you're in the shower, start with the hot shower, okay? Get comfortable, get really hot, take the hot shower, feel comfortable, and then turn it to the cold, okay? I mean, a nice cold shower, not lukewarm, but really cold for about 30 seconds. Now, anyone can handle 30 seconds, right? And then turn it back to hot. And then just have that as your introduction to the cold. The next day you go in there, start to increase the 30 seconds to maybe 40 seconds, okay? And then the next shower, turn up to 50 seconds and gradually increase this to the point where you're taking a cold shower for five to 10 minutes. But if you do it gradually, it won't be that uncomfortable. In fact, the benefits that you're going to see are going to be mind blowing. And you're going to finally realize you should have did this a long time ago. What's interesting, you have all these feedback systems in, in the body that when you expose your body to a very cold sensation, it actually warms up the internal core of your body. You actually get more circulation internally. The flip side of that, when you take a hot shower, it actually cools down the inside of your core. This is why taking a hot shower before bed might be a good thing because it's going to cool down your body and you're going to sleep better. The body sleeps better when it's slightly colder. But anyway, this might be an easy way to approach this cold shower, unless you want to just do it cold turkey and just jump right in. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is infrared saunas, okay? Use a lower temperature than a traditional sauna. So they use like 120 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit versus traditional saunas, which are 150 
to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this has nothing to do with a cold therapy, but the only point I'm bringing it up is that it's not as hot as a traditional therapy and there's some real interesting hormetic effects to infrared, which I will share in another video real soon. But anyway, as you can see, if you did cold therapy for 14 days, uh, you would see remarkable health benefits. Now, if you haven't seen my recent video on the benefits of fasting, you have to see that. Check it out right here.